Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Buckle up, sit tight. This is a this is not going to be one of those videos that you're going to enjoy, but you're going to need to simply listen to it. So, like I was saying, buckle up and get ready for a very low blow from the bad actors in the LUNC community. And this was ultimately all they had. This was the final weapon. This was all they had left to utilize against the only team that have been building this blockchain and actually pushing us way further and putting us in better. I mean, uh, overall, they've done more within the short time they've been doing things than anyone's ever done within the whole time we've been involved with LUNC. And what this is all becoming is damage control. And I think this is a good word for us to begin to use and utilize to try and better understand what is currently happening. Luna is in the worst position it could possibly be in. No one really knows what's going on with DK. The ownership of TFL goes back to Do Kwon. We all heard this in the different podcasts that he did after the crash, especially with Coinage. We know that he is the person who calls the shots. Everything that is being done to LUNC from the bad actors, it's damage control. It is a means to stop us from growing, to stop us from progressing any further because we're moving so fast that we're we're becoming a big threat and uh, like a lot of people fail to understand and fail to recognize this as a threat and it's simply damage control do you see rabbi and all of these other people and all these other bad actors saying about dk being in jail about the wallets being emptied months ago and more funds leaving those wallets the stuff about daniel shin all of those underlining things you, you don't you don't because these people are professionals of what they do. When I say they're professionals, this is what they do. They do damage control. This is what they specialize in. This is where they get what they... <clears throat> when you go fishing as a male you or as a female, as anyone as a human, I'm digging a huge hole here. Jesus Christ, someone give me a ladder. You get a sense of fulfillment like you did something you achieve something when you catch a fish and you return it to the water now the bad actors get a sense of fulfillment when they get people like our lead l1 team to pack up and walk away sadly the majority of the l1 team have been doxxed this is photos of their children houses addresses mobile numbers work locations everything so anybody who has stood by people like Rabbi over the past couple of months, you know, oh, they'll change their ways, this, that, and the other. They won't. Okay, this is damage control. And what likely is going to happen now is they're going to put forward their own team. As to which, the community is going to be in a desperate position. It's likely going to be down to people like me to have to say to the community, this is a bad idea. We shouldn't allow them into power because they doxed the other team and made them leave. It doesn't work like that. It wouldn't work like that even if the L1 team decided to pack up and leave on their own accord. Why would you then install bad actors? What? Why would you do it? You don't. And this is what we're going to consistently continue to end up with each time we back these bad actors up. It's absolutely insane what has happened and this will always fall down to the same bad actors who do not want to see LUNC succeed and it's all about ensuring that Luna survives, ensuring that Luna continues to build this sector and not LUNC. They're the ones who are going to want to bring an algorithmic stable coin to play, not us. Why are they going to want to allow us to capture multi-billion dollar industry like that and then not even put up a fight or anything folks we are being coup d'etat what's going to happen is and as shocking as this is probably going to sound to a lot of people they're going to suggest themselves as a new team as to which the likelihood is what i believe is the plan is to implode lunc from the inside out and remove everybody remove everybody but the old guard and the people that have got the money to stay and then more or less decide and put a proposal forward to merge this chain into Luna and move the community pools. You know, they don't have the kind of liquidity we have over here locked in. They just don't have those things, right? They're struggling. There are a community of people that got wrecked and then they were given some some other coin, which is their only hope. They, they don't have any LUNC. They don't have, have any USTC, right? The threats 
are real. And this in itself is such a big eye opener for me that I'm, I have to do this video. I have to take this approach and I have to say that this is completely wrong. And, you know, once again, people have been made leap to leave this sector. Tobias was made to leave. Pe people before Tobias were made to leave because of these same bad actors. And now the only team who have ever pushed us forward and not lolled around on Twitter, in the mud, fighting back and forth, even with that small period of them doing it, work was still done and we still got all of the work done. And it's just absolutely heartbreaking to see this up and to see that they have to walk and, you know, it's a security risk for them. They've got family and stuff like that and I totally get it. But, you know, at the same time, with all of their information being leaked online, right? <clears throat> If we look at people like Do Kwon, when his information was leaked online, one person turned up his house at his house. Uh, Rex Harrison of the Terraport um, debacle, he's doxxed. People know where he is. No one's ever turned up there. People are more than happy to invest. I just, I feel like the security risk for these people now is that, you know, their family's at risk, their jobs are at risk because, you know, these bad actors have likely been calling their works. That's not been working. So they've had to go to the nuclear option, which is just to simply dox everybody and hope and pray that this stops development, gets rid of the team. And we just end up as this blockchain who sits and bickers with no real developers that ever want to develop on this chain to push forward. It is horrible. So what we do know is, is <clears throat> Ving is going to be the main point of contact for any questions related to the L1 task force. I'm hoping you're going to be able to get a call with him <clears throat> and sort some stuff out and sort of have some back and forth and find out where we are. Does this mean that everything's over? No, of course it doesn't. This means we need to fight twice as hard and we need to ensure that this never happens again. And this whole thing of saying, oh, well, you know, if we've got a development team, they need to be doxxed. Yes, they need to be doxxed to a company in the event that they do something wrong, okay, and they try to run off with funds or they don't do the work they were paid for. Then their information gets released. Legally. Not like this. This was 100% illegal, immoral, and unjust. And it's just heartbreaking to see this kind of behavior, but not surprising because we continue to have these groups of people like, you know, we need them. We need these sorts of people who are just going to dox people, ruin everything and, and just continue to be bad actors over and over again in this self-destructive manner. It's a joke. And it's so obvious to me now that this is a coup d'etat and, you know, this is damage control to stop us from growing, to stop us moving forward from where I'm sitting it's so obviously obvious, it hurts. Let me know what you're thinking about all of this. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, none of this is financial advice. It's all for educational purposes only. Stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. And I'll catch you in the next one. Shoo!